So we're at the Aachen University here at the Mobile World Congress 2011. What are you showing? Yeah, I'm showing a, um, a software that combines uh, a set of smaller uh, displays into one large display. And what I just did was the photo calibration. So now I can... Um, like just as you know from, from displaying photos on on your mobile device, but now I got a one. This is pretty cool. So these are images that have a resolution of, uh, I think this one is 6,000 square. 6,000 what? Uh, 6,000 pixel. Uh, yeah. Um, and like you can zoom in or look at the entire thing. Has anybody else seen this solution before? Are you the first, first time you show it? Uh, it's the first time that we show it to the public. Yeah. How long time ago did you have this idea and how long did it take to make it? Uh, the initial idea is already uh, quite old, maybe one and a half years, but it took a while to uh, get everything working because we make it platform independent. So it's not just running on iPhones, but also on Android phones and so on. So you can, uh, co you can combine different OS? Yeah, sure. Even the Nokia Microsoft? Uh, no, uh, maybe in the future. Have, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, and so you can... It just, uh, so it knows where this, it is. You have the one finger, two finger gestures, and you can also do it across displays. And, so and right here is just using the Wi-Fi in this room, right? Uh, right, yeah. How does it work? Is it IP based? Or, uh... Uh, yeah, of course. It's a UDP connection, because we have to be fast. We cannot wait for the other devices to react. Uh, what do you call it? U UDP? 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 That's the standard yes. that we use. Local uh, or over the internet? We could do it over the internet, but then we might have delay. Okay. So normally we would like to send that directly between the devices. So it's better to use a hotspot at home. Right, but that's the ideal yeah. situation. But you can do it over 3G, WiMAX, 4G, LTE, yeah, yeah. anything. It's actually uh, independent from the underlying communication layer. Uh, we just have a software that's based on top of it. Nice. So four iPhones, two iPads, and, uh, and that's whatever. Good. We can have up to ten devices or more. Nice. And you can go in Maps. Cool. And uh, how, how many people uh, were involved to make it work? Is I that a secret? You mean? Yeah. Are you a big team or? Uh, no, that was just two PhD students that did yeah? that stuff. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot. Uh, what are you gonna do with it? Are you gonna like release it or? Oh, it's available on the App Store. H how long a time ago? Oh, when did you, maybe half a year ago. Half a year. So people actually use this. As they yeah, can use it now. We, we it? did not advertise it on a broad basis. Yeah. But we have. Uh, and is it also on the Android market? The Android market also? No, we only have it on the App Store. App Store, okay. Is it free? Yeah. Yeah? Free, free app. Anybody can... Everyone can do it. Cool. All right, thanks a lot.